How's it going boys? Welcome back to another video. Today I kind of just want to chat. I just want to chat about the issue of using FOSS software and how, <laughs> how using it kind of like isolates you in a way. It kind of makes you, just genuinely makes you weird. Like it makes you weird in this day and age, especially if you get very hardcore into it. So I would say I'm like a light, light FOSS user in terms of, I use Linux. I believe in Linux. Like I think you know, it's, it's not even like I just believe in the philosophy, but also I just think it works better. I just like it better. I think it looks cool. I don't know. It's just me. And it doesn't really obstruct too much of my life. I remember like, at least on laptop, it can be annoying, like just some random issue occurs or like, okay, let's say I'm trying to share my screen on discord. Then like, there's no audio when you're playing. Like, it's just like really annoying things like that. But I don't know. It's not like end of the world. But for example, there'll be people that get hardcore into it where their phone is <clears throat> not only just Android, but their phone will be like some free, like open source, like version that they booted on, like all this stuff. But then it causes these other issues because now you can't use Google Maps or stuff or like, I don't know, just random stuff like that. And honestly, like I agree, like I actually, it's not like I disagree. I think that is genuinely the best way. And like the more boss yourself, the more boss your setup can be, and the more minimal, that's always the best. But again, it does isolate you where like, genuinely people will think you're weird. That's the thing. Like I still like people will think you're weird if you use Android until like people that are like in this space, that's like basic. Like people would probably like, for example, like I use an iPhone and I mean, there's reasons because like, I don't want to pay for a new phone. I don't make that much money that I can just like buy a new phone like that. Especially like the FOSS phones are very, very expensive. Cause you need to get it shipped to Amer from America, this, that, it's just a whole thing. Now I'm sure what a lot of people are thinking like, oh, well, screw those people. They don't understand that, you know, stealing your data and this and that, or maybe they understand it, but they just don't care. And I think that's kind of where it's not like I don't care. I think like I try really to like avoid as much as possible, but also I try and balance it with not being too weird because, you know, some people will kind of have this like Sigma, like mindset, like, oh, you know, just be by yourself, like be a lone wolf, like people, I don't know. I, I think that's really cringe. I think that's very cringe, very stupid. Just be a lone wolf. No, like we're literally like tribal creatures. We've always been tribal creatures. We always belong to a tribe. Like, you know, I belong to the Hungarian tribe. Like I speak Hungarian, I'm Hungarian. That's the culture I'm in. There'll be like an Arab, like Arabic people get along with other Arabic people because they're the same, like, you know, culture, same language, this and that. So we're broken into ethnicities and naturally, like if you've ever seen like, if there's a whole like diverse like group of people, usually the usually the people that have some commonality between them, for example, ethnicity or language, they usually stick to each they usually stick together. So I think it's very like completely normal that we're actually tribal creatures. So then I feel like doing things that purposely kind of exclude you from that tribe just to be different is kind of like number one, like weird, stupid, and also I'm not gonna, at least for me, like maybe some people are genuinely, in, like I know there's people that are genuine introverts that do not care, at least for me. And I think 90% of people, they're not like that. Like 90% of people, like a lot of people call themselves an introvert, but what's, I think what they mean is they're shy. What they mean is they're shy. Because in reality, they would happily be an extrovert. They think extroverts have way more fun, this and that. I'm naturally extroverted, but I will, like I won't lie, like sometimes I'll be shy, if that makes sense. But the amount of people that genuine introverts where they actually almost not like dislike, but they, they genuinely just preferred being their own selves and like doing that whole like Sigma thing is very little. It's genuinely very little. And I would bet that for you, you're probably also not likely an introvert. You're probably more like you see those extroverted people and you're just like, I want to be them. That's always been me. That's genuinely always been me. Again, for me, that's why I try not to go too deep into it. Like I've been like kind of like that, but I was trying to just kind of avoid it. Like some people will ask me like, oh, why is your, like, for example, I use like the Brave browser on my phone. I won't be using Safari. And then I remember this girl was just like, oh, why does your browser look like that? I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's like a setting or something. Like I always just kind of just avoid it. I'm just like, I don't want to like get too deep into it. I don't know. You know, so like for me, at least I try not to involve myself like super, super deep with like boss technology and stuff because you really just don't want to make it like your entire personality. When you start having these kind of things that define you like, I played this video game or I use this software or I use this, like, you know what, like all of that, it just kind of, it just makes you really look like a nerd. Genuinely just makes you look like a nerd, which, which I used to be like, genuinely, I used to be a nerd, but I'm not gonna lie. Like 
I prefer, like, I kind of prefer to hang out with normies, like, to an extent, to an extent, you know, like, it depends, like, not, like, full, full normie, but, like, normie that I have, like, commonality with, like, normies that are also, like, I don't know, orthodox Christians or something like that, I prefer to hang out with them than just, like, no, nah, I'm gonna cut that out, than, like, the super hardcore Linux people, or just people that their entire personality is, like, based on, like, again, like, FOSS software or something. And again, this is not me, like, saying that it's a bad thing or you shouldn't, like, you shouldn't use it. But at least for me and how I want to live my life, I feel like there's a certain balance to it. You know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel like that's just not even, like, the issue would necessarily force, but just getting into something, like, super deep that if you get into it, it kind of, like, affects your life. Even, I'll say this, even, like, kind of, like, becoming more and more, like, Christian has like had similar effects i'd say very similar effects where oh no i can't do this activity or i can't do this activity but i'd say the, the difference between that is it's like it's literally like life or death like like when it comes to religion that's literally like <clears throat> heaven and hell difference whereas using false force versus not using false okay the government knows more information about you but they already know all this information like does it really like change or not even the government like all these companies sell you information but again like the question really is like how much does it really benefit you know that's the thing you have to ask yourself and if you don't like the targeted ads you can just like ad block it as well so it kind of has like zero effect i don't know i know it is creepy i will 100 percent agree but again i'd say the effects of going super deep into it i'd say aren't maybe aren't worth the benefits or the cons should i say like you know, oh, the companies aren't tracking you anymore, but now everyone around you thinks you're insane because you use, like, Arch Linux on your phone, like, you have a, you're using DWM phone or something like that, I don't know, it's up to you to decide, for me, I think I'll stick to this kind of, like, normy, kind of, like, sli like, slightly normy, I think, if you want to get a setup similar to me, you can book a free consultation call with me, first link in the description below, besides that, please like, subscribe, comment, helps me out, I'll see you guys next time, peace.